Hi guys, my name is Obi. This is Debra here. So first of all, we'll talk about our insecurities and what they are. Then we'll talk about our tips for building self-esteem. You want to tell us about something My own insecurities. Yeah. Why do I have to go first? One of the first ones I dealt with was gynecomastia. I'll put how it's spelt on screen. And you if you want to Google it. I had like a female figure. I have big hips, boobs basically. And so I didn't feel good about my body. Yeah, and I feel like it's something that you might even have to talk about again because people have a lot of misconceptions about that and they think like oh just lose weight or something like that but it's not about weight I think it has to do with hormones right gynos is hormones for yeah, sure you're exactly. born you're either born with it or you're not yeah. and you have to do surgery to remove it but then I think for a lot of people it's the way their body is just built I think we have this standard of like a perfectly built body for male and female and then if we don't hit it we just feel bad about ourselves mm -hmm. aside from like the physical aspects is there anything else <laughs> that you struggled with I struggled with school so while I was in uni my first year was horrible i mean a lot of people say their first year is bad but then mine was really bad i, I basically failed and then one of the teachers i went and talked to him this guy he's just like you know what you were there at all the classes i'll give you the grade you need to stay in school because at my first year i was on academic probation and i just basically needed a certain grade and this was an easy grade but then mentally i wasn't in school i didn't want to be there and so i talked to this guy and he's just like here's the grade here's the b that you need and and it's like that's the reason I'm about to graduate in like two weeks now. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I also struggled with I guess you could say like feeling intelligent and stuff like that. Just because of how Nigeria is where it's like if you're not good at chemistry, if you're not good at math, yeah. physics, then automatically they just write you up and it's like, oh yeah, you you're not smart and all of that. And I struggled with that. I know there was a time they even put me and some of my friends in like one other class like that, and it was kind of like the people that are dumb or like people that have really bad. Oh yeah. Math. So in our school we had class A, B. B, C, D, according to how smart you were. And you can imagine if you're in class C or D, just what it does to your yeah. self-esteem. And although for me, they put me in B generally, not because of anything, mm. but in, for math in particular, they put me in D and they just packed all of us and just threw us in D. And it was so embarrassing for us because you're in class, even the junior students know that this is the D math class. So it, it just, yeah. I felt better in university because I did what I wanted to do. And I feel like there's this whole misconception about like being hardworking and you're supposed to struggle and I don't think you're like you're always supposed to struggle I mean sometimes you will you can expect that but if it's so difficult for you it's difficult you're not enjoying it then maybe you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and it was a huge change for me when I switched to human ecology and then I switched again to sociology I was able to do what I enjoyed and it, it came naturally to me is there anything else you struggled with I think because of how girls are trained I feel like because I'm a sociology major I'm like seeing the larger picture in all of me but because of how girls are raised like you're supposed to be caring you're supposed to be kind all of that it became a huge part of me where i'm like i'm afraid to say no to people i'm afraid to confront people because i don't want to be seen as someone who isn't kind or mm. you know and that was something i also struggled with like always feeling like oh did i do this well or was i kind enough i also had like a very brief insecurity with my stretch marks on my thighs but yeah that was brief <laughs> yeah i have yeah. stretch marks too and i like them yeah i like them too my insecurity about my body is like it's from other people like telling me oh why is why do you look like that or man boobs or looking like a female was a bad thing. I wanted to look male and then just because I had these certain attributes to my body, it just made me feel like less of the person I wanted to be. Now I'm like, I'm, I feel, I feel let me not say great but i feel good about my body but then when you have an expectation for what things should be and then you don't meet that yeah. and even if you didn't even have those expectations just people telling you that you're not supposed to look the way you should look then definitely i feel like insecurities and low self-esteem definitely it doesn't come from within like that it comes from expectations and not being yourself too mm -hmm. because I, I i shouldn't have been in science class because i didn't like it I, I didn't find it interesting and all of that so i feel like it's always coming from people's expectations and then us now taking those expectations and making it ours like oh why don't i i should look like this or i should be like this now the tips for building self-esteem these are our personal tips we're not professional but these are our own tips personal tips that we found that has worked for us for building self-esteem so the very first thing and this is what we already covered the most important thing is to stop comparing yourself with other people just stop comparison for sure like for me my idol was kobe Bryant, and everybody who knows the kobe Bryant, his work ethic is 
this through the roof and I really really put that pressure on myself as like okay if I'm not working like this if I'm not going to school like this I felt like if I wasn't going hard every single time then I wasn't meeting my expectations for myself and I don't think that's healthy unless you really love what you're doing because I didn't love going to school and when I put that expectation on myself I was hating like my environment I was hating but do everything you feel, around me. Do you feel like it's not about school but what you were doing in school? Exactly it was about what I was doing in school but then I wanted to be great at every single part of facet of it. Mm -hmm. So there's that combination comparing myself but I, sh I should have been comparing myself to myself and also doing something that I really like. Yeah absolutely I don't even have anything to add. Alright and the next point is embracing yourself like when you stop comparing yourself to other people it allows you to look inward and just focus on yourself and just accept everything your strengths your weaknesses all of it is it's what you are it's what makes you who you are so look for the things that you like about yourself or even the things you don't like about yourself but if it's coming from you saying oh i don't really like this the way this is not because you're comparing yourself mm -hmm. to other people but on a personal level then you can now say okay how do i change it because really you should be trying to improve yourself because you want it not because other people make you feel like you want it and this brings us to our next point being kind to yourself i think when you see somebody for example if there's somebody who has a body i always go back to body because we all struggle with body image and so if there's somebody who doesn't have the body that you think should look like the standard male or female then you don't go judging that person you don't tell them they are worse than they look for who they really are mm -hmm. and so you should also be kind to yourself with that same energy like bring that same energy to yourself you're not worse than you are you're beautiful everybody's beautiful and so be kind to yourself well, yeah i definitely feel that way because i mean at least a normal person wouldn't see someone else who is not maybe societally the way people are or like mm -hmm. societally beautiful you wouldn't now be like oh you're so ugly oh this that, that you would be kind to that person and you know i believe that as a reasonable person you would see past that and you still love the person regardless treat yourself that way too like mm -hmm. you wouldn't treat someone meanly so why are you treating yourself in a mean way you know yeah it also helps to like really learn about how society works society creates these standards and these standards change every, every time or every five ten years like what we found was a beautiful body in the 90s 80s and 70s is not what it is right now yeah and so just realize that you're beautiful and like you are going to stay the same for the rest of your life and society can do what they want but then you're going you're beautiful all the time yeah. and i don't know if this is one of the points but like speaking of the whole society thing now i i actually caught myself doing it and i spoke to you about it the other time with snapchat filters and makeup yeah, yeah. like snapchat filters and it's all these different apps filters it's just such a big deal now that every time people are using it you see them use it every time you're using it you use it and now there was a few weeks ago i was trying to take a picture without a filter and i was like oh why do i look like this and that's how i look <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i was like how's your face that's i was like wait face? whoa what's going on like no i have to slow down with the filters or like even with makeup something similar happened because i started wearing makeup more and now i'm not wearing makeup so yeah you, you kind of have to that i think maybe it goes with embracing yourself too don't always like try to unless that's what works for you i guess you can't tell people what to do but don't always try to change yourself like every time you're, you're you don't look at yourself without makeup you don't look at yourself without these filters very soon you stop recognizing yourself and you think something is wrong with you but literally that's yeah, you yeah it's who you are yeah another important part has to do with you but also with other people is surrounding yourself with people who are not constantly making you feel bad people that uplift you people that make you feel good about yourself people that push you to be your best self without it coming from like a judgmental place i guess yeah and i feel like this also extends even to social media not just your close friends but like even random people you follow if you're following people that constantly make you feel somehow it doesn't even mean that it's their fault there are certain people that are followed they are not doing anything they are just living their lives but for some reason why are you looking at me like this <laughs> for some reason you just kind of feel down or you feel like oh this person is unfollow them it's not by force yeah. because even though they are living their lives and they're not they don't mean to hurt you it's hurting you all the same and why should you be subscribing to stuff like that subscribe to people that inspire you because they are doing well yeah. and the more you work on yourself maybe you'll find yourself in the future being able to watch those people without feeling that way but while you feel it i feel like you should get rid of it our next tip is exercising we're not seeing exercising for your body or exercising to look a certain way exercising just for me biological 
physiological standpoint you come out with endorphins your brain releases all these chemicals that make you feel good exercising is a one size fits all and this doesn't mean like you lifting weights you have to go weights. to the gym you can ride your bike go for a walk yeah dog, something whatever there are many different ways to exercise and also like another point that we have is like doing self-estimable acts that has more to do with like being kind to people yeah whatever brings you self-esteem now you should also judge your self-estimable acts if what brings you self-esteem is bringing other people down then net you're, you're you're just a horrible person nobody like i don't want to mess with you right yeah but then self-esteemable acts is things that bring you up and could possibly bring other people up so for you if it's exercising if it's playing the guitar that you've always wanted to play spending time with family and friends volunteering mm -hmm. anything that just you know that you notice that whenever you do it you feel good about yourself as long as it's not bringing anybody else down or harming anybody mm -hmm. then yeah you should do it this next point is just like a cluster of things it's put yourself out there challenge yourself accomplish things mm -hmm. build yourself basically just putting in efforts to yourself if there's anything that you want to do but you're scared challenge yourself to do it don't just like withdraw yourself and just like hide yourself I feel like that brings down your self-esteem because you're not showing yourself the things that you're capable of doing but if you keep going and you keep going and sometimes you might feel down or sad about yourself or feel like oh what's what 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 am i you're able to see like no this, i'm capable of so much and i feel like to an extent it makes you feel better about yourself because yeah. you're constantly moving and if you stop moving in life you just i yeah, feel like you're, no, you're yeah. meant to keep moving don't have much to add challenging yourself is something that it's hard you it's part of facing your fears and facing your fears is something we don't we need to add it as a tip but here's a bonus tip <laughs> facing your fears is something that you don't know it until you come out of it and you just love yourself more yeah. for being that person who has faced their fears yes yeah. but no one is telling you to go and jump off <laughs> yeah don't <laughs> jump off a building or i don't know if you're afraid of heights yeah. but i mean if that's what maybe you yeah want. who yeah. knows <laughs> it's for you <laughs> all right guys so those are our tips for dealing with self-esteem and your insecurities yeah we hope that this has helped you and given you some insight but i'm sure that we haven't covered everything so if there's anything that we didn't mention or even the things that we mentioned Put that you do or that works for you write it in the comments we'd love to hear that you should check out some of our other videos it's us talking about our tips for surviving a long distance relationship because if you didn't already know we used to do long distance for, for four, four years, years and we just recently got out of it oh, you yeah. guys we like it's just been so crazy because ever since we started this channel even when it was just my face like we've, we've received so much support from people and it's like it just keeps going and going and going and, yeah. and it's just so crazy and we just want to say thank you to some of the people who always encourages us always gives us videos yeah. and video ideas gives us feedback it gives us or give us give us feedback give <laughs> always give us feedbacks we really appreciate you we have faith elvira Afola Bibenga, Busola, Busola, Victress, Victress. Yeah. Victress is a big one too. Pamela. Pamela, who's also a YouTuber. She's also been very supportive of us. And Angela, who's my really good friend. And as well as Adeze. We really appreciate you guys like sticking with us through all of it. And I mean, if we haven't mentioned your name, we still obviously appreciate yeah. you. It's just the names that we see constantly in the comment section. Thank you. Support. Like, you know, we're still at 180 something subscribers. It's still a very small channel. Which is great because we get to really see these people and like, yeah. it's, we, we have this opportunity to know them on a first name basis and really communicate with you guys yeah and you guys are the day ones thank you so much for watching it feels like it's a small community but it's really a community and i really love you guys so much and we really think about you guys we're like i see him editing all the time and he's like yeah for sure face like this or uh, elvira, or elvira i'm like yo this like joke this. Elvira, this joke will slap for elvira <laughs> yeah and also when our videos are coming up late you guys are messaging us hey is it coming up is it like like what's happening thank you because it really pushes us and lets us know that people actually want to see our videos because sometimes like you know we're not gaining any money we're not we're, we're basically spending hours and hours of our time every week working on these videos and because of you guys we're really able to push through and provide this content that we do so thank you yeah so thank you guys so much for watching that's all for now i will see you on the next video what's up people gang gang are we really recording gang gang oh let's do I see we have grills on. <laughs>